everyone. You are back in my kitchen and this is Stephanie. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate it. And um, I want to, if you are going to be um, seeing this on Facebook, for example, please hit the subscribe button. And that subscribe button will take you back to YouTube. And all you have to do is either open up your own Gmail account that you already have or just make another Gmail account. And it's just a Gmail account, which is an email account. It is free. So you can watch me and anyone else you want to watch or anything else you want to watch on YouTube. But you can then comment in on my page or their page. So I appreciate you. If you would do that, I would truly appreciate you. And uh, today, I'm using my ninja again. And I'm making some simple macaroni and cheese. Um, I do make this, I do use it for the most part um, uh, when I'm making my macaroni and cheese in my Instant Pot. But since it has this, um, this, this air fryer thing on top, I'm going to give this a try. And I'm not making the same quantity that I usually would make. So I'm just going to make some just for, you know, today, tomorrow, whatever. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. So that's why I'm going to put it in my Ninja. You and I are going to do this together. This is how we roll. Okay. So, let me turn my pot on. Uh make sure it's on okay very good now I have some macaroni that you know I had in the pantry so I'm just gonna finish it up I don't know this might be I don't know might be a cup and a half maybe two cups that's all I want I'll put that in there but that's all I want I don't want a whole box um then the next thing you got to do basically is put some water in I don't like um I don't want no uh chicken broth or things like that because I don't really want it to be too uh, too salty. So I mean, it's gonna be salty enough. So I just put the water in with the noodles, and I just cover it up. Now, okay. So actually, I put the water and the uh, macaroni in here, and I was blocking the camera, so I moved over to the other side. This way, you could see what's in the pot. So I put about whatever, basically whatever was in here, of uh, macaroni in, and so far I put in um, I don't know about two cups of water. And I'm going to put just a little bit more, not much, that's it. Because you just want to cover up the top of the macaroni, no matter how much you have in here. You want to cover up, up the top. So, we are going to pressure cook this thing now. So, I got the top here, it's on seal, and you have to line it up with the arrow. Okay, the arrow is right here, and the arrow is right there. And what you have to do is line that sucker up. So I don't want to get in the way, but turn it a little bit so I can see what I am doing. Now I have to put line it up like this. There we go. And line it up. See the hours are right here. You line it right up. There you go. So if we on pressure, this is macaroni. I'm gonna put this thing on minute, about five minutes. So I'm pressing pressure. Pressing so on 10, I'm going to bring it down to, oops, to about 5 minutes. Yeah, 5 minutes should do. So, it's on seal. We're going to wait 5 minutes. It's going to come to pressure. And then it's going to go down to 0. Once it comes to 0, I'm going to do a quick release. And that's what we're doing here. So, I'll be back in 5 minutes. Well, come on, like 10 minutes. But I'll be back. You won't see the whole 10 minutes. But I shall be back. And we're going to get this show on the road. Okay. Okay, I'm back and it's the uh, pressure cooker has come up to pressure. So I am going to um a uh, quick release. Come on. Oh, yeah. I really only had about two and a half cups of water in this thing. So you know, you don't have to put too much water in there, just enough, you know, and then to cover it, but you, you need some water in there because of the pressure cooker. Okay. So this is really gonna be simple, nice, uh, quick, if you want some macaroni and cheese, with a little brown bake on it. I feel like you can do it in here pretty well. So we shall see this now it's just a matter of uh, of uh, mixing stuff together. Okay. 
Of course, when you take this off, you always have this uh, top away from you because you do not want that steam in your face. Anyway, so now there are my noodles. You should pull it back. And what we what we want to do right now is I want some butter in there. I'm going to go to my other side so that we can see. I'm coming to the other side. Okay, so you guys can see too. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to put some butter in here. This is a stick of butter. I'm going to put about half a stick of butter in here. And I don't need the whole stick. If I had a whole box of macaroni, I would use the whole stick. But <clears throat> I'm going to use just a half a stick right now. And we're going to work with that. So that's about half a half a stick of butter in. And the next thing I put in here is Velveeta. And this is, I don't know, how much is this? 16 slices is 12 ounces. Maybe half of this. Maybe half. So, of course, I'm going to open it all up. You know, this is, we're going to go fast forward through this as I, as I open it up and put it in. Just get some, buy some, and put it in. And to make it even creamier, I always put some carnation milk in here. Now I would put the whole can if this is a whole box, but it's not. So we're gonna put in just some, and maybe a quarter of a cup or a quarter, half the can. That's all I need. Now we got this creamy macaroni and cheese and cheese. So yeah, it's creamy macaroni and cheese right now. And let it just come to a boil. You see, this is definitely macaroni and cheese. But while it's doing its thing here for a minute, I'm going to take some sharp cheddar cheese. I like the Cracker Barrel. And I like the extra sharp Cracker Barrel. Extra sharp. And I'm going to put a few slices in right in to the pot. With plenty of cheese in here. Which is not, you know you don't need no salt when you got all that cheese. So I'm gonna put a few extra sharp in here. Cheddar, I love this stuff. This stuff is good on crackers, just some crackers 
And this kind of cheese is delicious. So you wanna, you wanna get pieces in here. Let it get nice. And stir it for a minute until it gets nice and thick, which is on the way. This is that one pot meal. So as it's, as it's uh, starting to warm up, I'm gonna cut these, side, these side of slices up. I'm gonna cut these slices up and I'm going to put them on top after it all gets nice and uh, incorporated. I have this knife, this is a cut cut knife. And it's a really nice knife. I got, I bought, happened to buy this one at, um, at, at uh, Costco, but uh, I bought also bought a set from um, my mom, Perry's, Perry's granddaughter, and it's very nice. It cut very nice. In case you are interested in a good knife, I think this is a good. Particularly this one is it, it really it works well in my hand. Also, I like how it feels. So you know, I'm not the chopping kind of person. That's one thing I never like to do. I let my mother do that. I hate chopping up stuff. She did, she was good with that. She chopped up everything. I don't like to do that. So I make, make, I need to make it as easy for myself as possible. But this really cuts through really nice. I'm really liking this knife. It feels good in my hand. Okay, so let's go back to the story. I think this looks pretty good to me. You see, it doesn't even take that long. I think it really looks pretty good to me. So, at this point, I am going to put in the, on the top some cheese. And I want the cheese to get brown. Because we all like that brown, you know, that brown look on your macaroni and cheese. So, that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting it all in. And this little ninja. And this, ma this macaroni and cheese is just, you know, maybe enough for four or five people. It's not enough for, you know, a whole, my whole group that I usually have. But it's enough for now. You know, it's enough for, that's why I kind of like the Ninja, because, you know, I can make several things the way I want to, just for, just for us. It doesn't have to be for the whole crowd. So, right now, it's bubbling over, and I'm going to use, in fact, all of this cheese, just to garnish it with exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to turn off the, uh, I'm going to turn off the sear, which, stop it right now. I should turn it off and then I'll turn it back on when I'm ready to crisp. So, this is, going. We'll see how well it, we'll see how well this, this pot does because you know macaroni and cheese is sticky. Some sticky stuff. So we'll see how well the pot does with this. And so far actually I have to say I like the way the pot has been cleaning up. It's been doing a really good job. I haven't had real issues with it even with you know the sticky things. So we're going to check out the macaroni and cheese and see what happens. So of course this is the whole thing of the uh, of the sharp cheddar cheese, extra sharp. Not just sharp, but extra sharp. Alright, so what I'm doing now is turning it back on. I'm gonna um, put it on pressure crisp. Press that. And of course it tells me to close the lid. So I close the lid, it's on 390. You know what, I'm going to put it down a little bit. Actually, put the temperature down. It's maybe 350 for right now. And the time is going to be on for maybe 10 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. I am going to check it, but I'm going to put it on for 10 minutes. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see how that looks. We're going to see if we like this macaroni and cheese. I think we might like it. Because it's basically the same recipe I always use. And uh, I think we just might like this stuff. So, I'll see you in about 10 minutes as I'm checking it out. See you later. Okay, you guys, you know, 
I'm sitting here thinking about, about the Aunt Chris thing, and I really realized that I bake my macaroni, and this is, I mean, the thing bakes. So, you know what I'm going to do? It was only maybe five minutes, and as you can see, it's starting to, of course, the cheese is starting to melt. But I want to bake it because I want it to get more um, congealed. So, I'm going to turn it back on again. I'm going to go to bake, and it tells me to put this thing down. So, instead of just air crisping, I want to bake it. And it's at 375. I'm going to turn the temperature also back down to maybe 350. I wanted to bake for eh, maybe 10 minutes this time. Let's see what 10 minutes does. And start. I'm gonna do it like that. I think when it's baking, it's, on, it's, it's doing both, you know, the bottom and the top, not just the top. So I wanna have it on the bake roast function and I wanna see what's gonna happen. It should be fine. But I'm like, yeah, I just wanna, you know, crisp on the top. I want the whole thing done. So that's what we're doing. But I just wanted to stop this and, and let you guys see that I changed my mind and I want to work in a different way. So we both will see what happens. And if I can do it, like Clinton says, you can do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs>